Hey yo, howdy y'all, my name is 4 Mustang Killer KO and welcome to the video. Today people, today I'm bringing you guys another Legacy Lightsaber review. Today we have the Ben Solo Lightsaber that was released um, right around the same time as Rise of Skywalker. Uh, it was released alongside the Rey Reforged Lightsaber, which I still need to grab. Um, but these are just two lightsabers, I guess no one really noticed that, no, nope, hold on. <laughs> no one really knew that they were going to be released. They kind of just dropped them. At least from my knowledge, I just saw them dropped. And all of a sudden, they were like, two new Legacy lightsabers. I'm like, what the fuck? So, um, pretty cool. Uh, this was one of the sabers I bought off of the guy um, who actually smuggled me the last um, half of the Jedi Temple Guard lightsaber. So, they, he got me another one of those and the Vader one that I just reviewed. Um, he also got me this one. And I'm glad he did because... Uh, the Disneyland's closed now and it's and it's well worth it to have this one in my collection really cool lightsaber um, So now the only one that I need is the Ray Reforged lightsaber and uh, I think I'm pretty much good with all the other ones unless they release some more but um, Then I just have the savvies anyway, <laughs> I digress um, The look at the Ben Solo lights uh, the Ben Solo case uh, is a little bit different It's the same size as the Kylo Ren one and the same size as the Ahsoka one uh, but the lightsaber itself, I don't have it in here right now. I have it out. Just fits right in the middle. So they they could have um, they could have put it in a, a regular size um, carry case. I don't know why they they opted to do the the big one. Um, maybe they wanted to keep it the same as Kylo Ren uh, for display purposes. I have no idea. But um, other than that, I don't know why this. this These things are so like weird to to put in. Like once you once you take the lightsaber out, it'll never be the same in there. Unfortunately. All right. Um, so underneath the box, um, most uh, most of them have some little secret ooh hoo ha has in the underneath the box. The the uh, Saj Ventures one has the coupler and the Allen wrench. Darth Maul has the coupler and the Allen wrench. Kylo Ren has the two cross guard blades and a belt clip. Um, and then the uh, Luke Skywalker has the display. Um, the display top half of the hilt. Um, you can also swap it with the bottom half of the hilt. But unlike, uh, just like the Kylo Ren one, this one actually comes with the belt clip. I think these are the only two lightsabers that actually come with a belt clip because uh, the Kylo Ren lightsaber and the Ben Solo lightsaber actually use a unique form of the belt clip that's not universal with the one that they sell, so they include it, um, which is fair. If, I mean, if I was them, I, I would sell this and say the Ben Solo slash Kylo Ren uh, belt clip. They make more money, but anyway. It's all right. They include it. Nice touch. Awesome. Uh, we'll move the box so I can show off the hilt. And I actually, I actually bought down my um, Kylo Ren uh, Force FX Elite Black Series um, to kind of do a comparison because all the other Kylo Runs are pretty much similar. Uh, they have a little bit differences, but not too, too major differences. Uh, so I could do that one compared to this here. This is the Ben Solo lightsaber. Uh, you got your um, blade plug on the in the beginning there. You still got a red bottom, which is actually pretty cool. And I, I think it was actually awesome that they included this, even though it was only shown in the scene for like thirty seconds. Um, but it's a nice little nod and nice thing to have in in the in, in your collection. Um, but pretty cool. You still have the burnt which is I, I actually thought that was kind of weird because i thought the burning um like the the flame marks were from the unstable blade but i don't i, I don't know why it's on this lightsaber as well maybe i missed something it's a little bit weathered you can see that the button's kind of dirty the grips are kind of dirty the bottom of it's kind of dirty so they added some some sort of weathering we're going to bring the kylo ren force fx black series elite next to it and in continuity, these are the same lightsaber. Uh, he just modified it. Um, he had to add the cross guards because once he cracked his blade, uh, the unstable effect was 
not good for the lightsaber, so you gotta add the cross guard. So that's the front. The wire was added, the cracked part here was added. And, oh, there we go. Now we're looking at them the same way. And then you flip it. There you go. So, I'll show you how the belt clip kind of works. It kind of just slides in. Not really much to it. There you go. And then it's, it's on there pretty tight. Uh, and then there's a little tiny slit on the inside there that you push down on and it releases it. It's kind of hard. I don't know how they expect the kids to do it, but. It makes it stay on there, so it's good. Comes right off. And uh, no, this belt clip does not work with this one for some weird reason. The, uh, the sizings, it's too wide, uh, this part here, so it doesn't fit on the belt clip, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I don't know if these are universal between this one and then the Galaxy's Edge Kylo Ren. If anybody has them both, let me know. Um, but there's that one there. Uh, again, just like the other Kylo Ren lightsabers, the bottom unscrews. You get an extra lengthy battery pack with some design on the bottom, extra design, and your speakers on the inside there. Uh, it takes three AA batteries. I'm checking the time here. I gotta go to work, so. These are quick, easy videos. Thought I might as well just release some, or uh, put them out while I can. Screw that back on. Cool. Remove your blade plug. And we'll insert a blade. This is a 36 inch blade, kind of standard. And then your activation button is actually this big button right here. You just push it up. It's got a nice light side. Again, you get the sucky Galaxy's Edge motions. Pretty cool. Let's take a close up look at it and then we'll get it upstairs and show you guys. Here's a close up look at it and get it activated. I'll put it uh, right next to the Kylo Ren just, just for comparison. Nice blue blade. But let's take it upstairs real quick and we'll show how nice the blue blade actually looks. A nice scroll effect. Uh, we'll see how good the blue blade looks the in the dark. Closet of Doom. Go ahead and activate that one. The blue is definitely the brightest out of all the hilts. And then you get your yellow flash on clash. But that's it for the Ben Solo lightsaber. Again, quick video. Galaxy's Edge, there's nothing much to review. Uh, but I do have a, a bunch of stuff coming your guys' way. So make sure you guys, ooh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, hit that subscribe and bell notification so you guys know anytime I up upload things. Almost done with my collection. It's pretty close. We're going to get to that uh, full FX review, which will be really, really cool. Um, but until then, I will see you guys in the next one. For Mustang Killer KO, signing out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.